Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial video about synthetic division. So let's get started. So this is going to be the equation that we're going to be working with. It's 9x to the power 2 minus 3x plus 11 divided by x minus 6. When we want to use synthetic division, we do exactly what we do with long division. So we first check if we need a placeholder. So let's check. The highest power of the dividend is 2, and then 1 because x is always 1, and then 0. Is everything in order or am I missing a power? No. So then I do not need a placeholder. And we really have to make sure that we don't need a placeholder because if one of the powers is missing, we replace it with a 0. We cannot forget that step. We have to check if we need a placeholder. And since we don't in this case, we put the coefficients in order. So the coefficients are 9, negative 3, and positive 11. And then you have to create two lines like this, 1 and 2, and leave some space because you're going to put some numbers over here. And now what do I put over here on the outside? I look at the divisor. And the divisor in this case is x minus 6. So write down x minus 6 and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. So and when you did that, you add 6 on both sides. So in this case, x is 6. And that's the number I put on the outside. So now you can see that I put the 6 on the outside. Then I look at the first number and put it down. So it's 9, and I put it down. Now, I take 6 and I multiply 6 times the number I just put down. So 6 times 9 is 54, so I put 54 under the negative 3. So the number I multiply, I put it over there. And then you add negative 3 and 54 and you get positive 51 and you write it below here. And now we do the same thing we did with the 6 and the 9. So we multiply 6 and 51. So I'm going to repeat the steps. So we move the first number down. We multiply 6 times 9 and the answer we put is under the negative 3. We add those two numbers and we got 51. Now take 6 and multiply 6 times 51 and that is 306 and you put it under the positive 11. And then you add those two numbers and you get 317. Box that number. And always, this number is going to be your remainder. And that's it, we're done with synthetic division. And now we need to know the final answer. So let's see at our equation again. Every time we divide, the power goes down 1. So the power is 2, as you can see, and then subtract 1, what would it become? 1. And then the answer then would be 9x to the power 1. You don't have to put the 1 there because x is always 1, but you can if you want to. So we look at this line over here and we see after the 9 there is the constant 51. This is the constant. The x to the power 0. So basically you're giving an x to your final answer. So 9x plus 51 plus your remainder, and that would be 317. Over your divisor, remember the divisor is this, so x minus 6. And this is how you write your final answer. Okay, let's do this equation, it's just a little bit harder, and it's 6x to the power 5 minus 3x to the power 2 plus x minus 2 divided by x minus 1. And first thing is that we need to check if we need a placeholder. And we're going to look at the dividend. Remember, this is the dividend, this whole thing. 
and we look at the power. So the first power is 5 and then there is a 2, a 1 and a 0. But we need to put it in the right order. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And as you can see we are missing a 4 and a 3 so we are just gonna replace it with a 0. So I'm gonna write down 6, 0, 0 for the 4 and the 3. And then negative 3, 1 and negative 2. So now that we put it in the right order, we create two lines. And now what do I have to put on the outside? I look at the divisor and in this case it is x minus 1. So write down x minus 1, set it equal to 0 and solve for x. So I add 1 on both sides. So we know x is 1. So and now I know what I have to put on the outside and it is 1. So now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So we put the first number down and that would be 6. And we multiply 1 and 6 and this is 6. So um, 6 plus 0 is 6. And then again 1 and 6 multiplied is 6. And then yeah, you know how it works. So 1 and 6 <laughs> multiplied is 6. So now you add negative 3 plus 6 and that would be 3 and now 1 times 3 is 3 and then you add again 1 plus 3 is 4 so basically you're just gonna multiply 1 with every number you put here and you add um, this number the coefficients with the answer you get when you multiply so multiply and then add And box this number because this is gonna be your remainder and now we have to know the final answer so what am I gonna do I look at this number and this is 6 X and then we subtract 1 with the power so it is 4 and then the next number is 6 so plus 6 X to the power 3 because remember this was a 4 because we put it in the right order it was missing so we put it in the right order and now we had 4 so I'm gonna put a 3 over here next number is 6 so plus 6 x to the power 2 because this was a 3 and then so on plus 3 x to the power 1 actually you don't have to write it down because is x is already 1 but I do it anyways so the next number is 4 and then the last number is your remainder so the remainder over the divisor and the divisor is x minus 1 so I put down x minus 1. So this is your final answer. So this is how we solve this equation when a placeholder is needed. It's almost the same just that we have to replace the missing power with a 0. And now we want to solve this equation. It looks different than the others, but actually it's not really different. This is the dividend and this is your divisor, just in a different way. So we're gonna start, as always, check if we need a placeholder. And the powers are 4, 2, 1 and 0 and we are missing a 3, so we're gonna replace it with a 0. So we're gonna write down 4, a 0, negative 17, and then there is a 14 and a negative 3. And now, again, two lines. And after that, we need to know what we're gonna put on the outside, and of course, we look at the divisor, so you write down, so the divisor is this, so you write down so we put 3 on the outside. You can pause this video at this point and try to do it on your own or you can just watch me doing it. And 
And now we're gonna do the final answer, and this is... So this is how we solve this equation with synthetic division. So that's it. I hope you can understand this topic a little bit better. And thanks for watching.